right, y'all, I'm back. I didn't want to put her on camera. She was in her night-night clothes still, but y'all see what's up. We got that cash. Um, so definitely job well done. She gonna hit me with the Google review. Got my shades on and it's time to get in this sun, go to the next job. So I'm gonna hit my guy up and uh, we gonna get there and just keep it pushing. Y'all know what it is. Winning ass car wash, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you in the North Central Florida area, you know, definitely hit me up for your details. We are the best in the area. Um, if you out of town, hit me up because I'm going to work it out. I'm trying to put car washes everywhere and, uh, you know, service business is my thing. So, what's up? Oh, it's in the trunk um, with the, um, yeah, it's like a little bag in there with all that stuff. Okay, appreciate, right, appreciate you. you. All right, y'all. So, that was her. Um, making it happen but uh yeah hey man let's get moving it's a good day it's saturday i don't even like working on saturdays but we're gonna get this money today what what's up youtube we back just uh got a whole lot of work i'm definitely gonna be here for a while um we got this tahoe to do and um i got like two other work trucks to do so i'm gonna be showing y'all that and uh, we're going to get to it. Um, hopefully, I can get all this situated. Got about 800 bucks, a little over 800, like 875 to get here. And uh, we already did the 160 this morning. So we already at our $1,000 day. And uh, we're going to keep it pushing. So let's check out this Tahoe. It's got a few little issues going on with some residue and whatnot in the dirty floors. But uh, we're going to knock it out with the whole winning ash car wash method. So. Let's check it out. So we got the dirt going on here. And in the back, we got the seats. They need to be just wiped down. We got all this residue and sticky stuff right here. Y'all can see the mats. They need some help. And the back's not too bad. Need to be vacuumed. We got some smears and stuff on the windows. You can kind of see it. It's hard to see it on camera. But same thing, dirty floors and whatnot. Just need a good wash and wipe down and we gonna kill it. It's what we do. Let's see what the front end looking like. Not too bad. But we'll get everything started and get going. Yeah, we got some dirt right here too. But standard detail, knock it out. Move on to the next and uh, keep the day going. Let's get it.
ready to start the detail and go that way. Well, I got to finish doing the pre back on the other side, but we're going to get that pre when I get it finished because we got a lot to do in there. I'm going to show you and whatnot. I'm going to let this uh, daddy charge up a little bit, but uh, keep going forward. And then y'all know what to do. We're the number one detailing company in town, so uh, pick me up. Get your car done right. Put it in the car wash. See, everything's all white now, condition, looking good. Got that cup holder, right? Then over here in the back, same thing. Looking good. Let this open up right here. Got this bad looking right. Another front done well. Y'all can see the wheels on this side. It's all good. Truck's all nice and shiny. I'm gonna give y'all a full view in a second. Back done right. Same thing back here. Get it closed up. Alright, so that's a Yukon. Right now, I got that GMC to do over there. I got another Chevy or something over there to do. And I also got to do that Denali. So, we're going to get all this knocked out today. I'm a superhuman, so I got it covered. So, y'all keep checking me out. When it ends, how watch y'all know what to do. Like, share, subscribe. I think about that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, buddy over here on this swing taking a little break while the next one coming in on that uh Zephyr Hills. I got Mr. Jimmy running around grabbing the next the next car. Ah, I'm really not tired. I mean I don't know man. I like to show people how hard I work to let them know, hey man, you can get out here and do this. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't have no type of other type of game or whatever, or, you know, this is a good legal way to make a lot of money and to 
in one day. So, man, looks like he's about to bring the dirtiest truck of them all for me to do next, which is cool. No problem with that. This is actually like a 395 job for interior only. So, when I show y'all this truck, just know when you hit me up and you want me to do this stuff, like, I'm for real about these prices. So, because it's all about that quality, you know? And if you don't get me and you get my team, just know that I train them the same way, so don't be acting all funny and whatnot when you see them pull up, because they gonna pull up on you. But, uh, got the one done, got the Yukon done, and, uh, Y'all see that winning ass car wash over there. Looking spiffy. What's up YouTube? We back. We got the next one. Lot of loaded and ready. It's about to be a maintenance on the interior only 395. But I'm gonna show you why it's 395. Check this junk out. We got trash everywhere in this thing it's really like a neglected detail but it don't have no carpet on the floor so we ain't gonna go crazy on them you know we got to get all this stuff out of here look at the back man about to go crazy so we're gonna get it right though about to show y'all this other side so check it man I gotta make sure ain't nothing crazy up in here, man. It's looking pretty bad. Yeah. The door panels looking bad as well. We just gonna go ahead and take this up out of here because it's in the way. We gonna get this thing cleaned up. So, I'm gonna go ahead and hit these jams too. Alright guys, we about to Get everything reset, get back in here and start uh, doing what we gotta do. This is about to be a tough job. Y'all seen what it was looking like, so let me show you that after. And then get into it, let's go. Super duper dirty. I sprayed stuff to lighten it up as much as possible, but that's the color that it is right now. And uh, we got the cup holder area all cleaned out. Dash looking amazing. Got it all straightened out. So let's take a look at the other side. Other side, same thing. Got the windows nice and clear. Y'all can see that. Did some wiping down on the uh, seats and whatnot. Same thing on this side. Got the floor sprayed and cleaned as much as possible as it could be. So it's a work truck, y'all. This just bringing back a work truck. Did the visors and stuff. Got them all cleaned out and whatnot. Let's get this back up there. Ooh, y'all. Hey. 
That's that winning ass car wash flow for you. We got two more projects to do while we out here. Hey man, I'm trying to get this money, so let's get it done. All right, we moving along, guys. We got that truck out of here. About to go sit down and wait for this other one to get pulled in. And uh, we're gonna keep it going. Like I say, we got two more projects to do today. Um, the GMC over there, I gotta wash it and uh, do the inside. So that's gonna be kind of like a full project, but it's not as bad as the, um, the other truck. I don't even have to do the back of it. So it's gonna be kind of like the other truck, but we're gonna make it happen. So getting that Zephyr Hills in us real quick. Got the generator still running over there. It hasn't overheated, which is great. Um, hey man, we out here, so just gotta finish up the day. It's gonna be a good day, and we gonna pay some bills with the cash, you know, and keep it going. All right, guys, we got the other 2500 here. It's actually not as bad as it's gonna look. Um, like I say, the floor, it's a work floor, so I'm gonna be able to blow it out with the, with the pressure washer, and then the rest, of the, the rest of everything that's going on in here is not even dingy, it's just really, dusty dirty type of thing so we actually gonna i think i tried to put like a standard detail on this one i could have went a little bit higher but like i said it ain't it don't have no stains so you know we're gonna keep it at a standard detail blow the floor out and then just get the front end straight do the outside you know like normal a normal wash i got a couple spots and stuff that i need to get off but it's, it's simple honestly so let me show you how bad it is but we're gonna knock it out so we got the interior looking pretty bad. I think I probably uh, said enough to make me feel like it wasn't that dirty, but it looks worse than what it is. Go so take a look at the other side. Get it right. And uh, yeah, we ain't even gonna open the back cause it's not important. He doesn't want it done. But these are the panels. Got the WeatherTech max, got the covers on the seats and whatnot. And so, like I say, you know, our main goal is to get this front end clean, get the outside looking nice, and uh, we should be good. So, man, I'm about to knock this out. So, y'all check it out. Let me put, put y'all in tune with everything. So, let's get to it. What's up, y'all? We back. I'm about to show y'all around the truck so y'all can see how it uh, came out. Keep moving to the next thing. Uh, this is the inside. Inside came out looking nice. Uh, on these work trucks, you know, the mats get a lot of wear and tear, so that's why it looks that color. But you can see all the dust and grime all gone and whatnot. So we got the outside clean. It's all. Uh, Nice, got the wood looking good. Looking good. Well, and the inside of this one, all the dust and grime gone, got the windows right, so we're looking good. All right, we're moving along over here. we only doing the inside on this one, so I'm going to just show you all around this one. Ain't really too much to show you because it's gonna be like a quick wipe it down. We out of here. We're not even pulling the mats out. We just wanna spruce it up a little bit. So that's what we're gonna do. And uh, kind of hit the windows and we out of here. So check that out. You can see a little bit of dust and stuff there, but we're gonna But we expecting some rain this week, so we're not gonna wash it. Just gonna keep the inside looking right. There you go. All right, and that's the cup holder area. So let me get some chemicals in here and get some air going and uh, show you the after math of it. It's gonna be good to go. All 
right guys we back i'm gonna show y'all the inside of the uh denali you might not be able to see that much difference because it wasn't really that dirty but we did wipe it down so you know this the inside just wiped it down real good got all that dust and dirt out of here but that's it for the day guys um did the whole fleet and uh we about to keep it pushing you know thousand dollar day we in here What's up, my people? So we headed out, man. You know, I'm gonna be uh, mining, showing y'all what that week they pay or they pay whatever it be. Cause I just wanna, you know, inspire people to listen and get out there and work hard, make this money, and put it to where it is best to grow for you. So got a little forty-five dollar tip on top of what. Y'all see the 875 check, and um, I had already got the $160 from the detail I did this morning. So, you know, we did the math on that. It's a little over $1,000, so I'm thankful God has blessed me today, and uh, we're going to keep it pushing. Y'all stay tuned for the next one. Hey, um, go to winningedgecarwash.com and check out everything. Um, if you're not in my area, at least... Subscribe, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. All feedback is uh, great feedback to me. And uh, if you're in my area, definitely set up your detail. You know what time it is. Y'all see the quality of work that I do. So you might want to get me over there to your house. But uh, 